What's going on guys? Welcome to your 30th Java tutorial. Again with me Travis and we're going to get into some graphical user interface. Um, about time. We're pretty much done with that system print out. Well actually I shouldn't say that. And anyways it's system out print. Man, why do I always do that? Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to right click create a new project to work with our kind of graphical stuff. We're going to call this graphical uh, UI something like that hit finish and bam we got our new project here we're gonna create a new class within our source package and this is gonna be our start starting class that has our main method so we're just gonna say start here and all we're gonna do is public static void main uh, string args and there we go everything set up for that class that was quick and then we're going to create a new one and this is going to be our uh, we're going to call this like our first window something like that so there we go and uh, how we're going to create this graphical interface is with something called a J frame now there's a frame and there's a J frame uh, back in you know back when Java's getting started like the Java 1 pretty much had something called frame but since Java's been upgraded, it you know the frame got upgraded as well, and now we're going to call this JFrame. Bam, and extends JFrame. Now JFrame comes with the Java JDK, uh, so we can use its methods. And as you can see, it uh, uses something called Swing, which we'll get familiar with, or you'll see it a lot. Obviously, uh, Eclipse will just import it for us, and we can use it. But uh, most of our graphics that we're going to be working with is going to come from this swing package in our uh, in our system library so first thing you notice we have a little yellow squiggly line under our class name and it just says add a default serial version ID and that's what we're going to do don't worry about what that means right now it's not very important um, but we need it so the next thing we want to do is we want to have this window uh, or their class name have a constructor. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit control space and hit default constructor here for first window. And there we go. We have our default constructor. And now what we're going to do is we want our our window that we're going to have have a title. So what we're going to do is we're going to refer to the super class by saying super and passing in a string. This is going to be the title of our window and we're just going to say uh, your computer has a virus. Bam. And again, this super, all that's saying is it's referring to the class we're extending, which is JFrame. And there's something within there uh, that takes a string and it's going to set up our title for us within our window. So the next thing we want to do is just save this and let's check it out, see what we got so far. Now, we aren't going to get anything when we run right now because, again, within our main method, we haven't set up anything. So all we're going to do is set up our variable real quick after we save all of our classes here. And we're just going to create a new variable. That's a first window. And we're going to say first window is equal to a new first window, which is, again, the default constructor that's getting called. Again, within the default constructor, all that's happening is we're setting the title to the window, and then we're just going to say fw.show, or I'm sorry, not show, set visibility, and it takes a true or false, and we want it to be true so people can actually see it. And then we're, there we go. Pretty much, uh, pretty much golden right now. And, you know, if we want, we could do like a for loop, and we can say int i is equal to zero. Uh, i is less than, we'll do 10 because that's not too bad, and then i++, plus plus. and what we're going to do is surround this with brackets as well, and bam, we have a simple virus here. And then when we save this and run it, up here in the top left corner we're going to have 10 new windows. Now, they're obviously placed up here right now, but we could place them randomly on the screen, something like that, you know, have them different sizes. Uh, but you know this is just an introduction all all we have right now is a new window and it says your computer has a virus as the title so that's kind of scary and you know it's re like I said it's resizable and our exit button works all that good stuff 
So that's pretty much the quick introduction to JFrame. We're going to be working with this application to build something cool. And again, guys, uh, just to warn you, you probably don't want to set this to like 10,000 or a million because it'll either take you probably three years to close all of those windows or it might crash your computer, which wouldn't be cool. So, you know, I'm just actually going to delete this. We proved our point. And not that one. And there we go. Bam, that's pretty much the introduction to this tutorial with JFrame and all the, the cool graphical interface that we're going to be doing. And I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.